The main purpose of the legs in the freestyle stroke is to keep the body balanced by counteracting the forces generated in the upper body where 90% of the propulsion comes from. Only 10-15% to of the overall propulsion you will generate in freestyle actually comes from the legs, even at a flat-out sprint, so it is important you understand that their main purpose is balance rather than power. Get this ratio wrong and you will get very tired very quickly, as overkicking is one of the fastest strains of energy in freestyle. Leg actions should be perfectly timed with the arm actions and should be rhythmic to maintain a horizontal and balanced body position. A three-beat kick is the most balanced form of leg kick, which involves three small kicks for every one arm cycle. It is important not to kick from the knees, but to kick from the upper leg, letting the movement flow through into the lower legs and feet as a chain reaction. Envisage the movement like kicking off a slipper or a flip-flop, as it is this drive from the upper leg and flick in the foot which gives you the propulsion. It is very important that your feet are loose and floppy, just like flippers, as if the ankles are too tight and rigid, you will not gain any propulsion at all, and in some cases, you will create negative forces, which will detriment the power in the upper body. This is where you will see people kicking on the spot with kickboards, or even moving backwards. Wearing fins or flippers to kick will help recondition the ankles to be more flexible. It is essential not to kick too deep in the water, Small fast kicks are much more effective and have far less drag than big slow kicks which will weigh down the legs and tire you out. Try and keep the legs high and flowing in the wake of the body so they are not causing any extra drag. We now have a perfect leg action for effective freestyle technique. Next, why not check out the guide on body position, arms or breathing.